All right, well, this has been a, a, a work in the making as far as a buck collection. About six months, maybe a year ago, I was thinking about doing this. I only had a few buck knives, and then of course I kept getting more and more, and pretty soon I'm like, all right, it's time to do a video, and we'll throw it on YouTube. I'm a really big fan of the Buck 110. If you look below, you can see a bunch of Buck 10s, 110s, and some 500s there. Uh, I focused really over time over the Buck 110. I've got quite a collection I'd like to show you. This is a Harbor Freight box that you can get for 90 bucks with the coupon or so. If you look in, you can kind of see a bunch of knives, and I do leather work, so not all of these are buck knives, and not all of them are 110 style buck knives, but and maybe we'll talk about those another time. But here's kind of the collection I wanna really go, and I'm gonna pull this out so that you can see it. I like to do leather work, so you're gonna notice that these are cross draw sheaths, and I have quite a collection here as far as different sizes and styles. Uh, those have conchos on them, so I kind of keep them together. This one, these are a little bit heavy, is another box of 110. All right, so we have uh, my 110 collection. You notice that uh, each one of these has a different sheath, and I tried to match up the scales to the sheath, or the sheath to the scales. You'll see that this is one of my favorite knives. It's a amber stag, it's beautiful. I did a really good job of matching up those scales, and I did my best to get the color of the sheath to match as well. Just a beautiful knife. I really, this is one of my favorites. This is actually a custom that I did. That's Purple Heart. That's one of the hardest woods out there. Uh, I'll show you most of my knives. You'll see that uh, they, they're all unique. I just was trying to do a purple scale knife for my daughter. My three-year-old likes knives. Don't worry, I don't let her play with them, but when she gets older and she was the first to point out, Daddy, that's not purple. Well, it really doesn't look like purple. It's more of a, a blood ox, but uh, I like how it turned out. And we'll do a close-up on those when we get a little closer. This is a, a Boy Scout knife. You'll see that the bolsters are silver nickel. I'm an Eagle Scout, so I was pretty happy when that came out and I purchased that. This is oak, oak wood, and it's okay. There's not a lot of grain in it, so I wasn't really impressed with it, but it's not bad. Start getting into some of my customs. It's getting to where you only had so many choices online. I purchased this, these scales from eBay, and they, you can see where some of the, the dye came through, but it actually gave it a little character. My son, my oldest son loves this knife. He says it's like the ocean with a little island in it. I didn't polish up the bolsters, not that I couldn't, I've done that before, but my son liked it with the brushed nickel, so I left it that way. Here's another custom. Oh, actually this is not a custom, this is a uh, ram horn, and you'll see that it's a little bit different. It's darker on one side than the other. I'm kind of into symmetry. So it took a little time to get used to, but it's all right, I like the dark. I believe this is another one of my custom knives. This is California Redwood, and I was trying to get some burled wood with some color in there. I don't like it, just one solid color. You can see it's a little distressed in places. Uh, I hope to make a video to show you how to do that if you'd like to change out the scales, do something a little unique. You know, your standard buck knife has these di diamond wood. It's not even real wood, it's all right. This was the 50th anniversary, so they did all right with it, but uh, it's kind of plain. I'll put that aside. A couple more over here. Another custom that I did turned out to be kind of an oak. It's an exotic wood. Honestly, I don't remember where it came from, but it's a little different than what I've had. It, you can kind of feel the, the divots in it. Even though I put wax in there, it just doesn't feel quite as smooth as some of the others that I've done. And uh, last one in this tray is a uh, Buckeye Burl. I'm really happy how this one turned out. It almost looks like marble, but it's not, it's wood. Put a knot eye, or knot from the wood, you can see is in the middle there. And you probably can't see it in the film, but there's almost a little divot in the middle where that knot is. 
Uh, very pleased with that. You can see it needs to be polished a bit, but uh, very smooth. Hardest part, of course, is getting those scales to match up with the brass. But uh, again, that's one of my favorite customs that I've done. All right, I've gone ahead and laid out my Buck 110 collection. You can see that there's some custom work, my custom work. There's a buck shop knife there, black uh, horn at the end, and some typical knives you can find online, Amazon, eBay. I also have a ordinary Buck 110 knife, and I've got some scales I've purchased on eBay. They're Hackberry resin hybrid scales. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out and uh, in my next video and see what we can do is show you step-by-step step how to do this yourself. And uh, again, like and subscribe below. If you have any comments or questions, interested in any custom work, let me, let me know. Uh, Rushton Works, thank you, have a great day.